Hey guys, what's up? Super Soak here. So, chances are, if you found this video, you're looking to open your NAT so you can play online with all your buddies without any hassle of not being able to connect. So, first things first, what is a NAT? Well, NAT stands for Network Address Translation, and that basically, you know, that means how your router interacts with other people's routers and vice versa. So, you know, if you and your friend are trying to connect but it won't let you that's because either your router or your friends you know thinks that the other person's internet might be malicious or you know might cause harm to it so it's not letting them connect with you and if you have a strict NAT you know you're less likely to be able to connect to a lot of people if you have an open NAT you're more likely to be able to connect with all your friends so, first question you might have is how do I check my NAT to see whether it's strict, moderate, or open, and those are the three types. Well, in my case, I'm checking on Halo Reach, since you can't check on your dashboard, you go start, network status, and right there it tells me my NAT. Now for me, it says it's moderate, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change that from either moderate or strict to open. First thing I need to do is go to your dashboard, and then under my Xbox, you need to scroll down to System Settings, go down to Network Settings, and select whichever way you're connected, either wired or wireless, then configure network. And you see right there, the two numbers I need to remember are the IP address box, that 192.168.1.5 for me and that gateway number which for me is 192.168.1.1 remember those and then we'll continue on the computer alright then once you're on your computer first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up an internet browser and you're gonna take that gateway number you got from your xbox and, and enter it in the address bar as a url which in my case was 192.168.1.1 and it should bring you to a router settings login page in my case I have Verizon so this is what mine looks like and in case you have the same one, I got the Action Tech MI424-WR router which Verizon gave me. Now if going to the gateway number from your Xbox doesn't work alternatively, you can try going to findmyip.org, go there, take take the IP address it gives you, and then in your address bar as a URL to take you to the same screen as this. Alright, so then you're going to log in. In uh, many cases, it varies from router to router. The username is admin, and the password is usually some variation of the word password. Um, you can look up online what the default for your router might be. And I've also heard in uh, Verizon's case, they've started using the serial number, which is underneath the barcode on your router, like the serial number 4, which a lot of times will start with CSJ and uh, they use that as your default password now alright so once you're logged in you're gonna wanna go to firewall settings yes to continue obviously then you're gonna go down to this little box called DMZ host and then here this is where all the magic happens you're gonna take the IP address that you got from your Xbox you know which in my case was 192.168.1.5 you're gonna enter that in here gonna check this little box right then you're gonna click apply and that's pretty much all you should have to do to open your NIT and there you go now uh, if you've been looking around on the web for a while for how to do this you might have seen other videos on how to do port forwarding or something called UPNP which stands for universal plug and play now some of that stuff works for some people some stuff doesn't work for others you know NAT stuff is really tricky. Can't guarantee this is going to work for you. If it does, good luck. Now, if you happen to be watching this video and you don't have a uh, Verizon router, then you know, best of luck trying to navigate your way to find the DMZ host. Usually, it'd be under some sort of firewall settings or advanced network settings. Um, so, yeah, good luck finding. Just look for DMZ, enter in your Xbox's IP, and you should be good to go. Alright, now I'll begin back on Xbox Live real fast to show you that this did in fact open my NAT. And uh, two common problems that people seem to have in my previous video 
I'll link to that in the description. Uh, one of the errors they got were the host does not belong to any recognized LAN. That basically means that your router does not recognize your Xbox's IP and it doesn't even know it's really connected to it. Uh, one cause of this can be that you're receiving internet for your Xbox via your PC. If that's the case, then you would use your PC's IP address in the DMZ host, and that should work to give you an open NAT. And if not, and you're just connecting normally using your Xbox, I don't really know what to tell you, you're screwed. The other was DMZ host is not available while configured for routed IP WAN. And um, basically that one means that you have uh, two routers in your house and you're trying to apply settings on the one that's kind of the middleman in between the main router and your Xbox and it doesn't want to work like that I'm really not sure how to fix it but that's more or less your problem and yeah as you can see I have an open NAT this has been Super Soak FTW hope this video helped you guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later